Cooper CPAs, located in the heart of East Nashville, offer a wide variety of tax services for individuals and businesses. Contact them at 615-257-0646 and visit their website, allcooper.com, for a full list of services. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Music Business Daily, where we bring you today's hottest music business news stories. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Madonna, some Glee stars for you, mm. and a little bit about some Wiz Khalifa. So stick around, and we'll have some fun stories for you. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for sticking around. I'm Hannah. I'm Jillian. Today's first story, we have a little chart info for you. Um, Pink spent her second week at the number one position on Billboard's top 100 hit list um, with awesome. her song, Just Give Me a Reason, featuring Fun's Nate Russ. I like that song. I love that song. I really like that guy. He's got a very distinct voice. Yes. Like, that was a really good pairing for them, I think, to do that. Yeah. So, good for her. Yeah. And then, um, Cy also just soared into the top 10. He was at number 12 last week, and now he's at number 5 with his new song, Gentlemen. I don't think I've heard that yet. I haven't either, and I'm shocked at myself because I loved his first song, yeah. Gangnam Style. Well, it's like broken a record on YouTube now. Yeah. For like most views within like a short number of days or something. Yeah. So... so. I guess Crazy. it's pretty good, or maybe the video is just that entertaining to watch, and so everyone's Pro watching it. So probably that one. I but should probably go watch it. Yes, um, we'll do that after we finish yeah. here today. Oh, I like the way you think. Okay, well, Madonna has actually been accused by a Russian legislator of not having the right visa when she performed uh, over in Russia, I think it was like eight months ago. Um, they have actually come and filed suit against her saying she had the wrong visa and then not only did she have the wrong visa, but she failed to pay the proper taxes um, on what she earned during that concert. Oh my gosh. Which is just a whole kind of mess. Uh, one thing I will say in defense of her with the whole visa thing is being in the position that she is, you know, with like the management team that I'm sure she has, that's not fully her like on her. Like that's exactly. on them to make sure and do the research and know that they're getting her the right visa that she needs yeah. to be performing. Like she hires a team of people <laughs> to do this for her. So it kind of just sucks that she's gotten stuck in the whiplash mm -hmm. of all of this, I guess. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sure she probably, there were things that she could have done differently. Um, but yeah, so don't go skipping out on your visas, people. Make sure you have the right visa if you're going to perform someplace and please, do yourself a favor and just pay the right taxes. There's been all kinds of stuff that I've seen recently about people just not yeah. paying their taxes for money they earn from exactly. performing. And it's like, it's kind of a red flag. You're a performer, and if they see that you've made all this money and haven't paid them, they are going to audit you. Yeah. Like, point <laughs> blank. You are in the public eye. It's going to happen. There is no sneaking around it. Yeah. Um, so just do the wise thing, people. Pay your money. Pay yep. your taxes. Pay your money. <laughs> Um, our, speaking of money, um, Wiz Khalifa was attempting to sue um, a company for one million dollars. Um, they, he, he was working with a booking company called It's My Party, um, and they had booked him to perform at George Mason University. Well, he was promised to be paid eighty-five thousand mm -hmm. um, dollars plus some other promotional money to go with it that he decided would total about one million dollars. Well, the judge threw it out because Wiz Khalifa never signed any contracts, like to like stating that he would be performing at George Mason yeah. University, saying I'll be paid X amount of money. So even though there was verbal agreements and they ended up canceling the show on him because there's no contracts, it's like, well, too bad. <laughs> you gotta sign your contracts, people. Yeah. Like, have your bases covered. I mean, it's like the whole Katy Perry thing that yeah. we were talking about. You mm -hmm. know, they may have had a verbal agreement from her, her agent, yeah. but if they didn't have a signed contract then, from her yeah. and her agency, like, I mean, there's nothing you can really do about it. No. So, so yeah, so. don't just assume because someone says yes. Sadly, in the world that we're in today, verbal contracts are pretty much null and void. Oh, if you yeah. don't get it in writing, it's not. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Nope. Um, well, next up, you know, all the gun stuff that's been on the horizon. Um, 
rapper Snoop Dogg, who is now apparently known as Snoop Lion, mm -hmm. has actually joined forces with an anti-gun movement. Um, he's joined, uh, he started giving backing to the League of Young Voters Education Fund's No Guns Allowed movement, mm -hmm. um, which was inspired um, by a song that he wrote in response to the shooting that happened, you know, a little while ago in, in various shootings across the U.S. Yeah. So he is actually now giving his backing towards that. Now, I'm not sure exactly what their stance is, like, no guns, period, or, you know, stricter laws. Like, I'm not mm -hmm. sure exactly of that. but. I think it's interesting that, you know, Snoop Dogg, like, yeah. we know who he is, we know the type of music that he's yep. sung in the past, and now he's choosing to support an anti-gun group. I just think that's really like interesting, it. and yeah. I mean, good on him, like, that's really cool that he's chosen to stand for something, you know, yeah. and to stand for this when he is in a culture that doesn't really stand for that. Um, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. good on you, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey getting ready to celebrate their fifth wedding anniversary. Wow. Um, last year, for their fourth anniversary, they renewed their vows in Paris. Um, and Nick has been heard saying that this year he's going to completely blow that out of the water. I'm not sure how you can blow that out of the water, but apparently he's going to. So they're spending like this whole upcoming week just planning um, for their wedding anniversary. And, you know, he was saying to the media recently that he was surprised at how easy marriage was and how comfortable they just are together like hmm. even behind closed doors yeah um so i mean good for them like five years that's that's pretty strong yeah you know for a hollywood usually, relationship and yeah and usually i feel like the first couple years of marriage are the hardest or so i've heard I yeah know. right i don't know from personal <laughs> experience everyone um but i think i mean he sounds like quite the romantic what yeah. a lovely yeah. you know kind of thing I think that's really wonderful that he's still he's trying to keep a freshness in their marriage mm -hmm. which I think is what a lot of people begin to lose yeah you know like in the beginning it's young love it's so fresh and yeah you know always trying to do something new and sweet and so I think that's cool that he's like yeah keeps trying to go like bigger he, and better and you wouldn't give any secrets away or details on what mm. exactly it is that they're doing well he's good at hiding secrets yeah. so that's good too <laughs> uh, I guess most of the time that's yeah. good. Um, <laughs> anyways, well, on a final note, everyone who watches Glee will probably be very happy about this. Glee star Darren Chris is actually about to go on his very first solo tour, um, and he will actually be coming to Nashville. The, so, the tour kicks off in, I believe, San Francisco. Am I getting that right? Yes, it kicks off on May 29th in San mm -hmm. Francisco, um, and it's going to be 16 different cities. It's mm -hmm. called Listen Up, and he's really excited. He's saying it's going to be a really great, fun um, concert experience. It's going to be like a big party. Uh, so he's really excited about what he's bringing. He's excited about bringing out, uh, being out on the road and yeah. seeing different places, which it's awesome when you see someone that's really excited about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, it just creates a new kind of energy around them. Yeah. Um, some of the places he's going to be in is, you know, of course, San Francisco, where he's kicking off, Los Angeles, Anaheim. He's going to be in Dallas and Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. He will be in Nashville on June 6th. So if any of you fans want to go check him out, that's going to be at the Cannery Ballroom, that's which I'm awesome. sure all you Nashville locals are very familiar with that place. <laughs> yep. uh, he'll also be going to like Chicago, Toronto, uh, Cleveland, New York, amongst other places. So mm -hmm. awesome. if you like Glee or if you like this guy's music, like even if you don't like Glee and like his music, check him out for sure when he comes to town. Yeah. Um, and that's all we have for you today yep. for Music Business Daily. So... Come check us out next week. Yep, have a good weekend. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city.